fact that uh, the efforts by medics to curb or halt the spread of Ebola are being hampered by attitudes and mindsets of Ugandans. No doubt, I'll ask Captain Francis Babu to give us his uh, two cents on how exactly such things should be done. The mindset <coughs> of Ugandans, especially when it comes to where you run to when you need that particular help, which is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, medical. Well, very welcome to the program, uh, Captain Francis Babu. How are we? Oh, I'm, f I'm fine, thank mm. you. And thank you for having me this morning. We are emboldened and to have you. started on a very nice note. Uh, that disease is a very frightening yeah. disease, and people should not play around with it. Mm. And I'd like to thank the president and his team for having come out uh, clearly and told us what has been happening. They have mm. given us facts. Now, I have a lot of respect for our medical people. They have yeah. had a lot of problems, uh, especially during COVID. They have come out of it. They now have uh, that thing. They <coughs> know where it is. Mm. They've gone, they know where the epicenter is. They have set it up. And they, they've gone as far as having mo mobile uh, testing laboratories being taken there. Yeah. They have told us how many people have contacted the, contracted the disease. They have told us how many people have died. They say there, there's a few guys who have run away. They have looked at weaknesses. Mm. And as far as I'm concerned, the weaknesses are very clear. And in fact, uh, I was asking who really investigates uh, the, the system, mm. uh, the contact uh, problems. Yeah. Uh, how is it done you know and now a lot of us uh, of course are ignorant and therefore uh, uh, my proposal after the president had uh, made it very clear to all of us we should tell the people that yes there's this disease mm. and you must really be very careful mm. and follow the sops which have been set up washing your hands keeping you know, not shaking hands and things That's like right. that and but the most important of all that and, and, and i think that is I, I wanted His Excellency to ask the Minister of Health to go on different media platforms mm -hmm. and actually get some expert doctors, a yeah. few, so that they can tell us a little bit more and, 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 and make people wake up and tell them that really this business of witch doctors, pastors and so on and so forth really cannot help this disease. This mm -hmm. disease requires testing, knowing what they are and therefore being treated. They talked about vaccines. There's one vaccine by Mezak and the other yeah. vaccine is by Johnson & Johnson. Uh, we, we hope that this can be brought about and people can get the guy. The, the, first of all, the, the president said, let's start with the, with, with the frontline medical workers, mm -hmm. which I think is very clear. Yeah, very good. Uh, the PPE, the PPE, the, 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 yeah. the, the personal protective, protective uh, uh, garments and so on. So yeah. those ones should come. And I think that was a very good. And, and I think the president on this one, you know, we've got to give him a tick. Mm. And, you know, I, I had some people saying, but you see, this pro of course there are bound to be problems. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> no are, we, we, we are not the most efficient country. Yeah. We have our problems. Mm -hmm. We have our mindset problems and yeah. so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, the Minister for Health, uh, <coughs> the Dr. Uh, Jen Ruth Acheng, spoke of the need for at least uh, uh, 60 billion uh, Uganda shillings to help uh, the Ebola fight. I don't want to begin to... Uh, hold a microscope on the Ministry of Health and how it conducts uh, a duty of uh, investigation and emboldening the ecosystem to be able to fight disease. But we come on the backdrop of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, a lot of money uh, went into the fundraising. Some Ugandans were told to come on board and others right now are looking at this as a bit of crisis manipulation on the part of government. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? I've got a little bit of a problem. We can't, we can't all be investigators. <laughs> uh, every time there is a money, because of yeah. our problems, because of our economic uh, ploys, uh, problems we have, uh, a lot of people want to come out and become investigators. Mm. Look, the Ministry of Health has got a minister. Yeah. A ministers actually. That's right. The minister and the ministers of state. He's got a permanent secretary. Mm -hmm. He's got directors. They've got experts and the minister of finance does supervise. That's right. And when they put in the budget, it is examined. Now, if there are mistakes there, it is only those people that can really tell us. But I do, I, I do sympathize with mm. most of us. Uh, the way it sinks, the way the economy is going, uh, when they talk about 60 billion, yeah. we get excited. But I don't think that so. There must be a reason why they are doing that. Mm. And, and therefore the government, and, and I think time has come. Uh, we, we, can't all be, we, we can't all be in parliament. Mm. Uh, they've got committees that can investigate that. That's right. We can't be auditor generals. Mm. Uh, so, so somebody has to be able to say, listen, uh, let's wait and see mm. whether this money will be useful. Now, there are so many things they have to do. 
Um, for example, I mean, I've got a feeling there's this uh, contact uh, investigation which they are doing. Mm. They, they've got things like mobile testing. They've got equipments they need. They've got the PPOs. To, they've got to pay the, the, the work. Now, what I would like to see mm -hmm. out of the 60 billion mm. is that the, the, the medical workers are paid well mm. so they can do a good job. They can do a good job. Now, that, that one I, I'm going to request mm. that somebody looks into very seriously okay. and give them, give them uh, hope that, you know, give them confidence. That's Right. And by the way, our doctors are very good, mm. very good, and our nurses. Really they, they, of we, course, uh, we, we need to work with them. Yeah, of course. Over the last uh, 20 years, uh, following that uh, very, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, the outbreak that took uh, Dr. Lukia. Yes. Yeah, Uganda came out as a country that had come to terms and prepared itself to fight particular crisis, especially Ebola. And remember that time, people didn't know much, didn't about, know Ebola. much about Ebola. Now it. we know a little now bit more. Now we know a little, a little bit more than we did. Yes. But what I'm talking about is the fact that after those 20 years and becoming a case study yes. in outbreak management, yes. it is a bit unnerving to find ourselves more or less at the starting point again. Yes, but it's, it's, it's very difficult. For, they say this one is a, a Sudanese trait. Now, I don't know uh, what that means. Then the other one was a Congolese trait. Mm. Now, I really don't know the difference. Uh, I'm an ordinary man, but yeah. one thing I know is that they are, they, 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 they are hoping that they, they, are, they are about the same, mm. because even the vaccines are for the Congolese trait. Mm. Now, we had the thing in West Africa, Sierra Leone, Liberia, yeah. and so on and so forth. All I'm trying to say is that our people it's a disease that is not fully, they have not buttoned it. They've not, yeah. Uh, if, even COVID, you remember the COVID came in different uh, strains and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Now, we, we are having the same problem here. And, uh, and our, our, our government really, really, I think they've done a good job mm -hmm. so far. Yeah. Uh, in a short time. My worry is that it doesn't expand. You know, the, for example, the area of mm. the epicenter and so on. Yeah. Those areas should stay confined. Yeah, for example, I think, I think Entebbe Airport should also have uh, the departure. People yeah. should be checked mm. before they go on board. And borders. And we need to really become a little bit more serious so that other countries, I'm told there's a country not very far from Uganda, mm. which says you should be in a quarantine before you go into it. Well, well, those are measures that, yeah. uh, of course, uh, should be implemented yeah. at uh, the but, but, but they center. should have something. Mm. I'm told uh, <coughs> when I went to Nairobi Airport some time back, you walk in and there they, they are these uh, special uh, uh, cameras and whatnot that, that actually can yeah. tell your temperature and things like that. And yeah. I, think, I think what uh, we should do is uh, to work together as East Africans. Mm. Uh, because it might be here today, tomorrow it might be somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yes. Okay, let's uh, leave matters Ebola to the health uh, uh, Not ministry. Not really, we should be concerned. We are concerned. We should work no with them that. hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this business of washing our hands, uh -huh. of making sure that people, and if, even if you have a small thing, go and make sure go you and check. Sure. Okay. Uh, and so on. But the hospitals should also have a, a reception area. Mm. Not every patient should go inside the hospital like Kirudu. Yeah. Kirudu is a very good hospital, by That's the way. That's right. Uh, uh, so but uh, for purposes of discussion on the morning show, uh, let's now transition to we come two days after we two three days after we celebrated independence yes uh, 60 years yes and there was a lot of reflection we had uh, the president uh, talk about where we are where we ought to be and uh, how best he thinks the country can go forward but we also had his guests uh, come mm -hmm. on board and uh, speak to the country. Most of them shared their appreciation for Uganda's role in uh, pacification and uh, helping them become the countries they are right now. I was uh, particularly impressed by the Mugolese statements, uh, William Ruto. He spoke very emphatically about the fact that there are impediments uh, to our progress as a region that must be rectified now or else things won't look very good. The barriers, the borders, the seamless travel that must be achieved for mm -hmm. products, services, and labor. Did you like what he said? Oh, excellent. Uh, what he, the, our president has said it before. Mm. Um, but of course, I think we get so used to our president, sometimes we don't, we don't take him that <laughs> seriously. We begin to take him for but, granted. But, but all these things, he has said them before. Yeah. And um, what basically is saying, uh, we, we remember the old community, yeah. Uh, from East African Common Services Organization to the East African community. We had East African Airways, we had East African Railways, we had a common currency at that time, East African uh, Common Currency. We had the Auditor General of East Africa, we had civil, is, is the Directorate of Civil Aviation East Africa. Yeah. We, 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 we had East African Harbors, and these were the East African Development Bank, and yeah. so on and so forth. Now, 
these are the things we wanted to do. So somebody has yesterday asked me, what would you do? I said, I'd like to see East African Airways. I would like to see East African Airways. Yeah. I would like to see the East African Harbors. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that we work together. We become one. Mm -hmm. If you really want federation, let's get all these services working, mm -hmm. and you, the federation will, will, will be given. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then, of course, get the people to understand what is going on. Mm -hmm. I used a very nice uh, expression yesterday. <coughs> the almighty politicians, if they could help us, and get these things done. <laughs> <laughs> the almighty yes. politician. Yes. Of course, that's a very uh, good statement and uh, a poignant one that uh, you should be able to, well, think about if you are a politician, uh, a politician out there. Mighty? No, 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 no. You shouldn't be looked at. Almighty. Right. Almighty, right? Yes, yes. You should be able to mm. uh, bring yourself down because the people are not understanding some of the things and they expect you to be doing things you ought to do. And if you're not doing it, those things the way you ought to do, then it's a bit of a... a no, I'll give you an example. Everything we do, whether you're in the opposition or anything to anything. do for Uganda as a yeah, country, as we should work together. Okay. Uh, we should give in our views and say, look, here we think it can be like that. Mm -hmm. But you don't just say, we don't agree. We don't, don't agree. agree. I mean, you, you, you can't go on... You should have an alternative uh, yeah. policy rollout, especially if you... You can come position. and see mm. if you can put them together. That's right. So that you are stronger. You know, Baganda have a very nice saying mm. that when you have all the teeth, you can eat meat. So... If Uganda wants to eat meat, we yeah. need to be together. Okay. Yes. There's another one that says, more like uh, the one who doesn't have the teeth is the one that gets the meat. Correct. I don't know whether we can, we could be finding ourselves in such a situation. Yes. We have the opportunities. Yes, we, 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 are, we are pussyfooting around. We've got the opportunity to build this country and work together and stop, uh, and stop. Uh, there's so much hate sometimes. I, I sometimes wonder why do people hate each other. There's no need. And leaders. We must learn that mm. you, you, you should can find solutions to every challenge. Mm. That's why you go to school. So there is a challenge, you find a solution. That's right. And that's it. Okay, with, uh, let's uh, delve into some of the uh, core aspects of the president's speech uh, during independence. He has, like you said earlier, more like to others, it could sound like a broken record, but uh, the president will continue to say it's the, the transformation of the economy and the fact that households must be emboldened economically. The Parish Development Board yes. is one initiative that seeks to achieve that. However, there are reports, and I'll be very specific so that I do not uh, speak mm -hmm. from a point of uh, ignorance or speculation. Uh, there's an article that has been carried by the Daily Monitor on uh, page 10 on regional news. Bolisa PDM circles are stuck with money. Just a preamble here, only 3,200 out of the targeted 10,594 circles have been cleared to receive parish development model cash after meeting requirements as outlined under the implementation guidelines the government on Monday says. Each of the approved circles would receive 25 million revolving fund during the first quarter, that is from July to September, 25 million shillings for the second quarter and another 50 million Uganda shillings <coughs> for the third quarter, according to Prime Minister Robina Nabanja. But as of Tuesday, two days ago, we, they were launching the disbursement of the funds to the ready circles, ready circles, the ones that are able to get this money because they ensured that all the requirements that uh, uh, were put forward as being making one able to get that money uh, satisfied we certified rather we had hoped the funds would be disbursed at once when all circles are ready but we have decided to start with those that comply with all the criteria now that means they want to give you money to be able to transform yourself there are requirements that you're supposed to meet and somehow you're not meeting them so that means you won't get the money we shall be delving into this discussion but let's take a break when we return we shall you're watching morning at ntv 
Yes, welcome back from that short break. We're glad you're still with us here on Morning at Saint TV. It's the Kickstarter discussion, and uh, we are looking at how ready uh, circles across the country are in uh, receiving the PDM funds that are aimed at uh, uh, triggering the next phase of uh, transformation uh, for the country. As we went into the break, I intimated that uh, we shall be joined by the MP4 Kampala Women, Honorable Shamim Malembe, and indeed she is with us. Very warm welcome, Honorable. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, good morning, our viewers. Uh, I'm Shamim Malende, the District Human Representative for Kampala, but also Shadow Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. I'm pleased to be part of this show to also share the views that the people of Kampala uh, would want to express if given this platform on the show. So thank you for inviting me. You're most welcome, Honorable. Yes. Let's uh, delve straight into something that I know your constituency is uh, part of, yes. beneficiaries of uh, the funds under the parish development model. Take us up to speed with the rollout within your constituency. Yeah, thank you so much for that question. Uh, you know, as members of parliament, uh, the major role that we have mm. in this program, first of all, is the oversight, uh, the monitoring and the oversight, mm. uh, but also uh, we are supposed to look at uh, the provision of the budgetary the resources uh, to, and then also to do community uh, mobilization uh, for purposes of ensuring that we prepare these people for uh, the, 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 this, uh, this activity mm -hmm. or for the, for the program of PDM. However, uh, we have registered quite a number of people who have gone into the circles and uh, I've also uh, provided a free legal assistance mm. to some of the people of Kampala in helping them to register their circles. But the challenge we are getting is that um, uh, first and foremost was the issue of uh, the money, money coming. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, people are expecting the funds to see they, that they can be able to, 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 to kick start uh, what they were promised, but the money has not been forthcoming. And even the little that has been released, uh, some people, it has not gone into the, the circles so far. But also, uh, secondly, there is also the issue of... Um, uh, the groups being worried that in the earlier programs, some of them could register, but sit and wait and maybe uh, and not be in position to actually access the funds. They're not given the funds and they end up losing. So we have collected these concerns from the people and they told us that you can use even the platforms that you get to air out the challenges that we feel uh, that may, 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 may deter us from benefiting from the program. Mm. They appreciate the program, they want the program mm. because they have been so much affected by the pandemic and all other econ the economic strides at the moment. So they want the program to work this mm. time around at least. But they are f so worried about the challenges, the failures of the earlier programs. Mm. And there is also a concern that they raised about uh, uh, the issue of the involvement of the party that is in charge, uh, that in the structure of the PDM, you find that uh, the chairman of the party, the secretary general, are part of the, uh, the, the part of the program. They are supposed to be part of the team. Mm. And uh, they are saying that from the previous experiences, uh, they, are, they are worried if uh, they are not going to be made to maybe f some of them to first put on yellow to access these funds. Because they are saying that from the previous uh, programs, sometimes you'd have to first prove that you are NRM to access these funds. So they are ask actually asking us as members of parliament, uh, Shamim, is this program going to be on merit? Is it really a national program or a political party program? Because we've had challenges in the <laughs> past. So that's, those are some that's of the it. challenges yeah. that they need, to, that as we go on uh, working together as a team and as leaders, we should see that these challenges can be addressed and all the Ugandans can benefit from the program. It's interesting to hear you speak of the fact that some are simply fearful uh, yes. that uh, this could uh, be more like something of the past. I do not want to delve into that, but mm. allow me understand the disconnect here. Mm. The Prime Minister and mm. government rolled out a set of requirements for circles mm. to meet to be able to receive the money. Mm. And uh, what you think about this particular money is actually not one of them. <laughs> mm. You could have your fears about whether it will actually do what it has to do. 
why are they fear, uh, unable to meet the basic requirement as circles as put under the initiative PDM to be able to access money first and foremost before you go into whether it will actually do the job or not? Okay. Well, uh, as representatives of the people, mm -hmm. one of our mandates is to ensure that we raise the concerns of the people, mm -hmm. especially regarding any program or any intended law that's going to be enacted. Mm -hmm. So all we do is to raise these voices so that those ones in charge, including ourselves, we can note those points and then even other leaders who are in charge can actually note those issues. So that's why I was raising mm -hmm. the concerns of the people okay. because they have, uh, they have got some experience in the past. They are not saying that it has not completely worked for some people who are not pro NERM, mm -hmm. but they are also worried that there are some people, even by the way, some people also belonging to NRM who complain and they come to us and they also say that this program, because of this and this, it may not have issues. But what are, going back to your question Quickly. about uh, about the criteria, mm. we have uh, tried to advise this. But actually, we have advised these people and they, are get, they have tried to get all that they need to ensure that they have their papers in order. But the problem is uh, they are also saying that, okay, the program is being rolled out. Mm -hmm. It's working. But the sensitization should also continue because uh, uh, b because if we are to effectively benefit from this this uh, this program, uh, everything should be you know out there and it is known. So all the leaders at all the levels must ensure that they continue to do the sensitization, like you have done here. NTV have brought us. We are trying to uh, to sensitize the public mm -hmm. even more about about uh, the, the PDM. But this should also go even at the local levels, through us, the members of parliament, through the local leaders, through the religious leaders, through the political leaders, at all levels, so that we can But also they are saying that the procedure must be very clear, systematic and clear. I leave alone the requirements for, you know, have your, your, you have your circle, but that even the timelines mm -hmm. within which, for example, if I know that I have my circle, I have applied for the money, how much time is is it going to take my circle to access this money and exactly uh, where wow. yes you get uh, <laughs> such <laughs> yes, yes so, hearing so. the honorable uh, speak about uh, the rollout of uh, the pdm in her constituency reveals so much that perhaps you might not uh, give attention to if you're one of the officials that are uh, mandated to ensure that people receive this money you've been around for some time. Mm -hmm. You've seen government initiatives roll out. Mm -hmm. You know how or where the problems can be. Mm -hmm. When you look at the PDM and uh, taking note of what the Honorable says, isn't this PDM dead on arrival? No, no. I think the problem has been, and it is always will be, mm -hmm. uh, we have completely got politics in the wrong end of the stick. Uh -huh. We, we have a lot of uh, uh, sectarianism in politics. Mm. People use religion, they use tribes, they use parties, they use all sorts of things to advance their points. If, if you get away from that and you go to the actual presentation by the Minister of Local Government, yeah. <coughs> it tells you transparency, operating within the integrity and transparency and maintaining the highest standard of performance and governance, administration, business processing, financial, human resources, management, as well as oversight, thereby providing the best value for the people of the grassroots. We, this has not started today. It has not started with PDM. Many years ago, it was mooted that the parish should be used as the unit for development. Mm. Therefore, what we are doing now is to put that in, in effect by coming up with a system. But when everybody talks about parish money, they start with money. But they do not start with the, the pillars. Mm. Yeah, what are the pillars? The pillars here are very, very simple. Production storage, processing and marketing, infrastructure and economic services, financial inclusion, social service, mindset change and cross-cutting issues, gender, environment, disability parish-based management information system, governance and administration. Now, a parish is a parish, it contains everybody. Mm. Whether you have a party, you don't, you belong to that party, you belong to that religion, you belong to that tribe, it's a parish. Now, Kampala is very interesting because it is all, uh, it's got everything yeah. that we're talking it's about. metropolitan. Now, they are, they've come up with a few things here and there. I agree. There are weaknesses. Mm. And, but when they say it is 100 million, I mean it's 10 million or 100 million a year, 
it doesn't have to be disbursed all of, all of it at a go. Mm. You can do it in trenches. And then you start with a mindset change. Mm. Let the people in the village get to know. Let the people in the, in the parish get to know what is going on. And, and, and this is what we're talking about. In fact, they also started with a pilot project. Yeah. How many did they start? How many, how many did they say they would start with? Did, did they say they would start with 50, 20, 30? So we want to know what has happened in those parishes where they have started with this project. Is it working? Now, all these projects have got their weaknesses. But like I told you earlier on, until we get these people who like to, 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 to get capital out of every argument, please do a little bit of reading. The book is there. And, 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 and the, the, the people who are supposed to implement are there. We have a national coordinator mm -hmm. of PDM, a former minister. Yeah. And he's got a team. Let them come and tell us what is going on. How far, how far have they gone? And, 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 and the president has talked about it. Now, the reason why I think this is a fantastic project, look at the, when they started the societies of milk, you know, to collect milk from all the places where the milk is. Mm. It is working beautifully. Can we make this, uh, this, this one work for agriculture so that it is working very well? I would like to see the cooperatives come back, for example, societies, mm. to protect the people. Now, money is not, is not, should not be the first thing to think about. How have you organized them so that when the money comes, it goes in the right place? That's right. Yeah, are you with me? Yeah. I mean, here you're saying, oh, circles, circles. You, you want to give somebody money for what? Let the person, you know, <laughs> you know, get. You're asking a Ugandan. Uh -huh. We want to give you money for what? For what? Interesting. Get the guy to get get the person or the family, mm. the household. Let them get organized, and they say we are, we are going to have coffee. We are going to have food. Uh, food. Uh, this we are going to have uh, an animal. We are going to have this. Get all those organized. Get some experts to tell them how to do it, mm -hmm. and then to give them the money. Give them because the money. what they're talking about is borrowing the money. This is not free money. Yeah. These guys are supposed to borrow the money, and they are supposed to work out and eventually pay the money pay back. Back. So it's a revolving. So fund. it's a revolving. Yeah. So this whole thing is really after that. Now, if even before you start, the money is not enough, of course it's not going to be enough. They can give it to you in tranches. They can give you every three months, mm. every six months. And they can start with a group. And of course, something that came up, which I thought was very smart, it was brought by one of the people in the opposition. Mm. He said, but parishes do not have the same pop population. Others yeah. are small populations, others are, smaller. others are bigger. Others have more people more within pe a smaller geographical yes. location, and what, what, while others have less okay. within a and bigger geographical occupation? location. I mean, if you're talking about Kampala for Madame here, yeah. he comes to my place in Kisenyi. Hey, what, what is our occupation? <laughs> uh, what, what is the occupation of the man in Ankurabi? Yeah. What is the occupation of the man in Kawempe? So we, we've got to come out with these and explain to each other. Now, we need to do a little bit of work. Mm. You can't just say, you're just going to release money. Oh, uh, money, money. Is it money is good, yes, but it must be going towards something. That, something. For example, if you say you're going to give the market vendors mm. money, so you arrange them, and you tell them, what's the money for? Oh, I want to increase my products. Mm. Uh, what is your sales like? What, I mean, these are the things that you really need to go through. You need to sit down and understand what these people want the money for. Allow and then us it should not be money as, as, as some sort of... Uh, okay. Allow us to throw that particular challenge to Honorable Shamim Malende to tell us within her constituency what is government throwing money at? What are the economic models that are first and foremost effective in transforming the lives of Ugandans within your constituency? What are you doing or what are they doing? Uh, thank you so much for that question. Uh, but actually, before I go there, mm. uh, 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 my you seem to have a lot. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that, you know, yeah. I, I had what uh, he was submitting mm -hmm. and uh, it's like you're saying, Money cannot just be released because, you know, we give you money to do what? And I, I looked uh, and uh, then I remembered that this program was launched on 26th February. Mm -hmm. That was 2022 uh, by, 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 by uh, the, the, the president, the, yes. of course, in uh, uh, yes, Budaka. Yes, in Budaka. Yeah. And then I'm asking myself, is this a confirmation that uh, the government is also accepting that, yes, we, we rolled out this program, but we were also not ready. So let's not maybe blame these people if they have challenges that they need to be addressed first. Yeah? No, so, as, uh, at the end of the day, allow yes. me just uh, clarify on this matter. Yes. When you say, I want money. Yes. And there is money coming yes. from the government. Yes. You must be having something substantial to do 
with that money. Exactly. It's not a case of I've heard there is money coming my side. Where is the money? How much time will it take for that money to come to me? That yes. seems to be the argument in most of these uh, conversations amongst the beneficiaries. Not actually the fact that, hey, my produce is ready for harvesting and I don't have the transport or uh, value you know, addition well, mechanisms. Make one point I want clear. that money quickly. Let, let's, let let's, me let's, one make one point. Clear. Okay, just very quickly. To, 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 to get the, point, the, the program going doesn't mean disbursing the money immediately. Okay. You start by mindset change. Mindset change. Remember? And you, then you prepare your people. Then you bring the money. I'm not mm. saying that you shouldn't, but the, the process moves. Mm. Yeah? But the, the, the people in the government, that's local government and the Minister of Finance, and so, they are supposed to go there and, 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 and if you like, talk to the people. Mm. Uh, sensitization. Uh, to, to very and, and, and then the people understand. Our people are very good, by the way. Once they have understood, what if I'm throwing it to you, of course? What if uh, you will give us the submission? But I want to understand are people simply government initiative fatigued, so to speak? So much so that the mindsets are static. For me, I just want the money because I know it won't do much, but I still need it so I can solve my other problems. No, the, the problem is. This thing comes from up to bottom. <laughs> so actually, that is one of the major challenges. Interesting. Uh, they were saying, you know, we are the common people down here. Mm -hmm. We have our own circles. We are setting up our own circles. Some of us, we are doing furniture. Others, we are doing some poultry what? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we rear, uh, farming. yes. Yeah. We do some small-scale farming. Some of us, you know, uh, we are engaged in different things, uh, talent and all that stuff. But. Uh, you know, in, in Kampala, it's a metropolitan, like you said, mm -hmm. and it's a collection of people from across uh, the entire uh, nation. So, people here are most involved in the business, in the business community, mm -hmm. but they also do small scale farming and also do uh, that other part of uh, the poultry. Yeah. So, now uh, they organize themselves in these small groups, in these particular groups, depending on the type of work that they do. For, for example, if these people, are, uh, they make timber, eh, they organize themselves in that uh, very line. Mm. If, for example, they are selling foodstuffs and, 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 and uh, doing agricultural stuff, they organize themselves into the, 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 that same what, and that is what they have been doing, and those are the circles that they have registered at different levels. But the challenge that uh, Honorable also brought out, actually, is that the government has come and said, we are, give, we are going to give you money. We are going to throw money we at you. We are going to throw money at you, at parish. Please, we are bringing money at parish. Organize yourselves. That is the... Uh, to get the money. To get the money. So these people go on and start organizing themselves. But they are saying, look, wh how do we do this? Where is the... Are you suggesting yes. that government must tell the Ugandan, we are bringing money to you. Yes. And we are also sharing the various options of activities that you can engage in to use this money. Uh, perhaps something like that to be a, a little bit more broad and maybe also to give them to, to allow that time mm. and also invest in the sensitization and the community mobilization give time because imagine this program was rolled out on 26th February yeah. and by the way by the time it was rolled out even us in Parliament not, not even something had been brought on the floor regarding the same and we actually requested for the law under which it's going to operate so everything is being done after the uh, program has been rolled out so we are not saying that the program is bad mm. and I know me and honorable we are speaking the same language that our people must organize themselves in the same this language in different yes, dialects. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, that our people must organize themselves in yes. these different groups but the government and us the leaders must help them to do the sensitization, the community mobilization and they will must also be there by the way to benefit uh, people at the national level but not on party lines like he said. So that, that is also a challenge that must be addressed. So we are not here to say that we, you know we are politicking over the same but we are raising the voices of the people regarding the same and actually the people are looking forward to receiving this money because they are really uh, they know that it is taxpayers money and they know that it can help a lot it can help them a lot mm. to redeem them out of po poverty but they need the assistance and the support from the government and as the leaders to 
do the right thing, to Otherwise. guide them accordingly, to mm -hmm. show them the right procedure, to confirm to them that the money is not going to be stolen. Wow. That one is also a concern that should be that they are raising. Interesting. Allow me throw the SOS to you. Yes, sir. Captain Francis Babo. Yes, sir. What if PDM doesn't do what it's supposed to do? I hate hypothetical questions. We should be positive. We should be positive for the sake of our country, mm -hmm. for the sake of the economy of this country. Yeah. Um, if this doesn't happen, if, I mean, really, you are being hypothetical there. It's very difficult to answer that. Mm. But let me tell you this. Before from, you tell from me, the milk, from the milk, uh, before you tell me mm. that, I would like to make it very clear that the question I asked might sound hypothetical, but it is buried in facts. So many initiatives have come and failed. Yes. By the way, there's a man called Ford. Mm. He tried very many times to, to, to make cars. And it took him many, many years to be able to do it. And eventually he succeeded. If we have made mistakes and we have fallen down and stood up again and fallen down and stood up again, we should never give up. Never give up on the economy of this country. Mm. And as far as I'm concerned, they, they, they have succeeded with, with daring. They have succeeded with milk. You know, we are now selling, you know, tinned milk. We are selling it to all of Africa. Mm. I've seen it in Nigeria, I've seen it in Tanzania, and, and it means that we can actually do it. We are yeah. even selling milk to Kenya if there was no ban. Mm. Now, the whole point is we can actually improve our economy and do a better production. This money, one thing is we should sensitize our people to realize this money is not theirs. Oh, this, okay. this money is, is going to help them mm. to do their businesses. In places like the cities, we should have small business enterprises teaching our people how to use this money. Now, there are circles already, by the way. Yeah, they were. Even before you brought this. Mm. There are circles in the markets. There are circles everywhere. Some of them are working. Some of them are not working. There, there, there are advantages and disadvantages. Mm. There is corruption also. So all, all right. these things are there. We just need to find a solution to it. Mm. We have to link to uh, somebody on the ground that is in Kampala, but uh, I'd like to give the last word to Honorable Shamim Malende. What is the way forward in light of uh, what I see as an unclear economic landscape? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, the best thing right now is, first of all, to be transparent with the money. Uh, when the, yes, that is the first issue because people yeah. are worried that money is going to be stolen. Mm. Secondly, the continuous involvement of leaders in the system, uh, in the program, by doing continuous sensitizations and also oversight roles. It's also very important. But also for, for, for maybe the other subsequent programs that will come, it is important that we always, before we throw the money at the people, or before we tell them that we are rolling out a program, we should first tell them, please organize yourselves and tell us when you're ready, then we bring the money. I think now for, for, for the latter it should it should come from the bottom mm. to up because when these people are organized they know best what they can do in their groups they know actually how they want to be supported so next time we ask that their voices should be listened mm. to first and then the top people should pick from what the people are saying and then not just bring something from up and then just throw it on them that is my suggestion captain babu and honorable shame malembe i'm glad we are on the same page when uh, it comes to the way forward and uh, I believe at the end of it all the hope must supersede the yeah, despair true. no doubt about that and uh, I just want to make it clear <laughs> that when PDM money was or it rolls out to you first things first they are the basics and the fundamentals if there are a set of requirements that have been given to you so that you qualify to receive this money it's important those requirements are made if your circle or whatever entity you're operating under doesn't meet them the question should not be the discussion of when that money will